So what you're telling me is you're a professional. Yes. You're a professional video maker? Yes. Or you're a professional video maker? Yes. Yes. You're silly. How many videos have you made? Two. What? This is my second. This is your second video? But this is your first one that you're in a video? Yes. Okay. For your first one is your music video. Yes. Which was a song. Yes. Okay. Should we tell everybody why we're doing this? Sure. Okay. So, we don't normally do any reviews on YouTube. Um, but we just bought this really cool thing and wanted to share a couple of things about it. Uh, we've unboxed it. We've tested it out. We've tried it. Um, and because we liked it so much, we decided we wanted to share a couple of the interesting things that we found um, and hopefully they'll help you out um, and uh, and purchase one of these. I think they could have done uh, a much stronger marketing push for it. Um, this thing is uh, is so much better. So let me show you what we're talking about. This is the uh, this is the uh, the Ninja Thirsty. Um, interesting name choice. Uh, it is a competitor to the Soda Stream. So if you have ever done the Soda Stream and the bottles, uh, this is uh, their uh, competition, what they've created. Um, hands down, this isn't even close. Um, we've tried it today, I've tried the, the different uh, pieces, um, and we'll walk you through that. Um, but uh, just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about it. It comes uh, in the box uh, with your uh, kind of your your water canister same thing like you're thinking a coffee maker um, it's a 48 ounce um, which depending on what you're uh, dispensing um, and you can see up here you can dispense 6 12 18 or 24 ounces um, this is going to make uh, several drinks um, and again you see the ice normally I would say chill the chill the water in bottles uh, but if you're wanting to do it right away uh, they say they recommend to fill the ice to about the 18 ounce. Um, we're a little above that. It's about if you're using a standard ice cube tray, that's going to be about uh, anywhere from eight to ten cubes. Um, and when you uh, uh, when you're making this, you want it to be cold. If you've been a part of the Soda Stream realm, you'll understand that the colder the water, uh, the better the carbonation. And so um, once this gets cold, you can see the the blue uh, in the bottom. Uh, there's a little uh, a little indicator that will tell you when the water is cold and ready to be uh, carbonated. So we're going to go ahead and pour water in here. Water quality is going to be key as well. Um, just this summer, uh, we bought a, a water drop reverse osmosis filter. Um, we live in New York. The water is a little hard, and those the, while the minerals are not bad for you. Um, they can definitely add a taste uh, to the water and it will definitely if you're using any type of uh, just essence flavors anything that does not have the sweetener you will taste those minerals um, when you carbonate your water um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of uh, let this happen you can see the the ice in the water uh, that blue actually went away it's coming back just slowly uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this on here just snaps on uh, to place. Uh, you plug your device in, it does require power. Um, once you're ready, uh, you select what you're going to do. Cool thing about this, you can do uh, still, which means just regular water, uh, no sparkling to that. Um, or you can go uh, one, two, or three. I tried uh, all the way up to three, and three was very, very fizzy. Um, very fizzy. Um, tickled your nose at the end of the uh, uh, at the end of it. Um, you have a tray uh, where your flavor pods will actually pop in. This is the difference between the soda stream um, in that you just have little flavor pods uh, that uh, the cap flips back, clicks in, uh, and then just locks into place. You'll hear it click twice. It's not as pronounced as what they say online um, and it's a quick release and flip. If I can do that with one hand, that's pretty impressive. Um, everything will actually fall down into uh, the bottom tray and then we'll dispense out uh, out of the machine there. 
Um, one of the cool things, I think, if you are part of the SodaStream and you've got some of the older machines, they did not say this uh, very clearly, um, but as far as the CO2 refills, so I know that Ninja has their own uh, refill system that they're wanting you to turn it in, uh, but oops, just so everybody sees this, um, uh, this is a SodaStream bottle. Uh, that I have in here. It is the blue SodaStream changed their bottles uh, from the older blue uh, to the pink in their system. But if you look, uh, the threads, the top is a little different. Um, the, the, uh, the push point is a little different, but the threads are identical and they work exactly the same. Uh, the reason why I had the soda stream in and not the actual um, thirsty um, refill. Um, so I'm going to put this in now. So it just really kind of pushes into place and then you twist it. It will lock, it'll stop, push it back, lock it into place. The reason why I put this in there, uh, in the manual it indicates that the sparkling light, the little bubbles light, will actually turn orange as uh, your CO2 is running out. So this SodaStream bottle uh, was near empty, uh, to the point it wasn't putting anything. You can actually hear uh, the check valve in there uh, rattling around. Um, this never changed, so I'm going to assume that this is based upon how many dispenses you're using. Um, and it is not going to be based upon uh, the actual amount. There, I don't think this is uh, guessing the pressure that's coming out of here. That's kind of important to know because this is going to be based upon how many dispenses. So it's, it's really just kind of guessing um, what you actually have uh, left in the tank. All right, so let's get to some of the flavors. Uh, Isabella, who has been uh, in multiple videos, hold that for me, uh, has been helping me. So they, it comes with the, uh, the splash, the hydrate, the vitamins, and the energy. The splash is your essence, almost like your LaCroix, La uh, Bubblies. Uh, the hydrate and the vitamins taste more along the lines of your ice uh, that you would buy at your supermarket. Um, the zero calorie ice drinks. Um, energy, same thing. Um, you, def you, you definitely taste the, uh, the, the caffeine. Um, I know that that sounds strange, but usually these types of drinks, the Mio's, anytime you get the caffeine in it, you definitely taste that, uh, that there's just a caffeine taste. I will tell you, um, this orange tangerine uh, was one of the kids' favorites, right? Yep. Um, here's why. The orange tangerine tastes like orange M Tic Tacs. Yeah. Um, if you remember the orn orange Tic Tacs. But melting. Um, watermelon lime tastes like uh, it tastes sour like the Sour Patch Kids. But it was the watermelon it was one. The watermelon. And it really smelled like it. Yes, it was excellent. Um, both of these we did on the bold. Uh, so each one of these, when you actually put it in, you can select one or two. Um, one is what they say is the, the classic, two is the bold. Um, you can actually combo these up. We haven't necessarily tried it yet just because the flavors have been pretty good. Um, I would imagine that uh, if you're going to combo this up, you might do something along the lines of like watermelon and then a splash of uh, the strawberry. And I might do uh, I might do two on the strawberry and one on uh, the lemonade. But that's uh, everybody's taste is going to be completely different. Um, so uh, that's really kind of it. So let me uh, let me show you a little bit on how it works. We'll plug one in and then we'll make a uh, we'll make just a quick uh, drink here, and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. Some of these uh, did leak. Um, I did forget to share that with you. When we opened it up, I don't know if it's just kind of their quality uh, still being new, but you can see where uh, the peach mango actually leaked in the packaging. 
Um, it was really only over here, and when you open it up, you can definitely smell the peach, uh, peach yeah. mango. Um, definitely. Not a bad smell, but you can smell it. Um, all right, so flip it, click it back. Um, it's pretty obvious. It's shaped, um, and it only goes one way. So you're going to take it, click it into place. Uh, so we'll go uh, watermelon lime, and then we'll actually go. Uh, we're actually going to go orange tangerine, and we'll go. Strawberry. Uh, let's go lemonade. Ooh. I know, different. Um, so again, it clicks into place. You don't have to have both in, um, and you don't have to have either in. Um, so that was one of the big concerns I think from a lot of the Soda Stream people was, um, what if I don't want to put anything in? Um, and I'll actually show you that right now. I'm going to pull both of these out. Close it up, set your sparkling level, uh, and then just start it. You actually don't have to have anything in here. Nothing dispenses right in here. Uh, you start it. It's going to do its carbonation. You can see this is blue in the bottom down here. So notice I don't have anything here. This has nothing to do with where it's going to dispense out. Gives the sound, and then you're done. Sparkling water. Uh, this is the uh, number one on sparkling. You can see it's, it definitely is sparkling, and it is uh, definitely very, um, very um, LaCroix-esque in the sparkle. All right, so now we're going to add this in here. Some of these, the colors, so the orange tangerine uses beta carotene to give it color. Um, and when we dispensed it earlier, we noticed that it's a very strong color. And you may have to clean this out. So you're, you're going to want to clean it out from time to time. Um, and so let's go one. We're going to do a six ounce and we're going to do, we're going to just set it to one. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and start. You'll see it. So it will dispense the water first, and then it will dispense the flavor, followed by the water again to clean it out. Some of these don't always clean out. The orange tangerine, we had to rinse out uh, after we did it. If you're not worried about the flavor, kind of like with those, uh, those Coca-Cola machines, there it goes. And you can see, now it's just water, but it's still rinsing it out. You can smell it too. Very strong, isn't it? <laughs> there it is. Uh, so again, when we pull this out, you can still see some of the orange is still in there. Uh, can you rinse that out in the sink for me? Thank you. But uh, smells and taste just like uh, Orange Tic Tac. Don't know how they did it. Um, never thought that orange tangerine would actually be uh, Tic Tac, but it is. All right. Thank you. Uh, lemon juice and strawberry. All right. So let me show you what happens. Um, you can see when it's installed. There's a little bit of a flash of light. Right. Um, the other thing that I thought was interesting. Um, if you do a combo, it will dispense the first, uh, and then it will clear it, and then it will go to the second. It doesn't do it at the same time. Um, don't know why that works, but that's why I say you'll have to work these uh, the combo numbers. Also, if you're just looking for like a Mio style drink, um, still is exactly that. It is just going to dispense this and uh, just the straight water. Um, so kind of a cool a little device. Um, a lot of the soda stream people were worried that uh, you would not be able to do uh, your uh, the, the 
I, I don't know their version, like Pepsi's version of Sprite, and uh, and then the the Pepsi. Um, you can absolutely do it. You just set your sparkling level, start it. Then you're gonna add, you're gonna add your Pepsi or your vanilla, whatever you want to add to it. Um, I'd probably add that in the beginning. Um, that way, it uh, it kind of infuses in with it. Um, but uh, that's completely up to you. So this is the uh, the Ninja Thirsty. Um, again, we've tasted all of the flavors at this point, and to be perfectly honest. Um, a lot of the soda stream flavors are not good. Um, they just really don't have a great taste. Um, we've tasted these. Uh, it's not the hype. They actually did a pretty good job in making these uh, taste good. Um, uh, let's see, customer service, we had an issue. Um, just kind of right out of the bat, called customer service. They immediately took care of it. Um, there's a number in the back of the uh, troubleshooting guide. Uh, give them a call. That was great. Um, other than that, it's a great, uh, great device. Can't wait to use it, and uh, can't wait to uh, reuse some of my SodaStream uh, CO2 cartridges as well. So it's not just a huge waste um, because you're you've bought into one specific system. But again, it's going to be the blue uh, SodaStream uh, and not the uh, not the the magenta colored. Those are. Uh, those are completely different uh, color size, but other than that, that's it. 17 minutes. Um, if you got questions, I'll definitely try and answer them. But uh, very, very good machine. Definitely worth the money. Um, also, if you uh, if you sign up with your email, you'll get that uh, on their website. They give you a 10%. That's the only discount that I could find. It's a brand new machine, so I can't imagine they're going to discount it that uh, that much. But uh, that's the uh, Ninja Thirsty. All right. Thanks.